Okay, so today we're going to look at how you transfer an app that you've downloaded from the Google Play Store onto your Android phone directly to your Fire TV Stick or Fire TV Cube. Hold tight, all the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this guide is going to show you how you can download an app directly from your mobile phone to your Fire TV Stick or Cube. Now, this is an app that you perhaps have downloaded from the Google Play Store. So this is going to show you how you can do that. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to download an app in itself from the Google Play Store. So go into it and then tap in the search and then we need to search for Easy Fire tools just as it's shown on screen there tap on it once you see it and there we go it's this app just here with this icon so tap install wait for it to download and install hopefully shouldn't take too long just be patient with it though and once it's installed what we need to do is we then need to open it so tap open okay so as you can see it's opened and it's given me a list straight away of installed apps these are apps that are installed actually on my phone rather than apps that are installed on the Fire Stick or Cube. Now, first of all, what I need to do is I need to connect into my Fire Stick or Cube. Now, I need to ensure that I'm connected to Wi-Fi, the same Wi-Fi network that my Fire Stick is connected to or my Fire TV Cube's connected to. So just tap on this little icon up the top there. And that will then search the network and try and find a stick or a cube. And there you go. As you can see, it's found one. And there you go. It's found my Fire TV cube. It's discovered that. So tap on the name and then it says use this device permanently. Well, if you are going to use it permanently, then tap yes. If you're not, then tap no. So then what we need to do is we just need to tap this little plug up there in the top right hand corner. And it's saying trying to connect. Now, what you'll see on your Fire Stick or Cube screen is this here. So it's worth just pressing the middle button on the remote control to put a tick to the left of always allow from this computer. Then go down to OK, middle button on the remote control. And then on the, the phone, tap continue. And it says checking device status. There you go. And it says connected. And in actual fact, if I just make the, uh, the camera bigger there, you can see in the top corner there, there we go. That's gone green. So that means it's now connected. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put up on my Fire Stick the app screen. So let's just do that and let's just move the camera just up to the other side of the screen there. Let's just find the app that I wanted to install. That was XMI, I think. There it is just there, XMI. So I just tap on that and it says side load. Should XMI be installed? Yes. So just tap yes. And now it's being installed and transferred over to the Fire TV Stick or Cube. Now, do bear in mind that not all apps are compatible with the Fire Stick. A lot of them are only really compatible with touchscreen systems. So therefore, it does mean that you may not be able to control the app. Now, a good thing to have is something like mouse toggle or an external mouse connected to your Fire Stick or Cube, like a, a Bluetooth mouse, or if you haven't got one of those, an OTG cable, and then you can plug a normal standard PC mouse into that wired or wireless. So as you can see, the app is going across. It's taking a bit of time. In actual fact, this is quite a large app. I should have really selected a, uh, a smaller one. So that's now going across to the uh, stick or cube. Hopefully shouldn't take too much longer. And once it has finished downloading across, hopefully we should see the icon appear in the apps list on the Fire Stick or Cube. Okay, so we're nearly there, very, very nearly there, 98% of the way through. And there we go, installation is now in progress. So hopefully, once it's installed, as I say, you should see the icon appear at the bottom of the apps list on my, well, it's my Fire TV Cube. And there we go. 
so it's installed and as you can see the icon for XMI has now appeared. Like I say it's hard to say whether or not it's usable until we give it a trial because the apps most of these in the Google Play Store on your phone were designed to be used on a touchscreen system. It may not work on a TV system, but it's worth giving it a go. But what if you wanted to install an APK file? Well, let's just uh, let's just do that. Let's just uh, come out of this for a second. And uh, if we go into Chrome and let's just go to my website, that's cwtek.co.uk forward slash D and let's try and find something to download. So let's say download TV bro. Let's tap on that. Let it download as you can see at the top there. It says it's downloading the file. Hopefully shouldn't take too long. Okay, so that's downloaded. So let's just come out of this and go back into easy fire tools. And then this time what we want to do is we want to select custom APK file just at the top there and then tap select file. Find the file that we just downloaded. There it is, TV Bro, and then tap install. If we've lost the connection, it will say no device connection. So let's just tap on this little icon just here. There it goes, discovering again, it's found one device. And there you go, found it, tap on it, and then just tap on the two little plugs in the top right hand corner and then check your screen. If you've got allow USB debugging come up on your Fire Stick or Fire Cube screen, allow it, tap continue. And there we go, it confirms that it's connected. So now I can tap install again. Should TV Bro browser be installed, tap yes. And there you go, it's now transferring across to the Fire Stick or Cube and then it will start installing. Now, this again is quite a big file, so it's gonna take a little bit of time to download. So let's just be patient with it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video and we'll come back to it when it's nearing the end of the transfer and show you the installation part. Wow, I really should have put, uh, downloaded or uploaded a smaller file, but we're nearly there. We're very nearly there and now it's just installing the app on the Fire Stick or Cube. So hang tight for a little bit longer. It looks like on the phone that nothing's going on, but believe you me, there is something going on. Just hold fire. And hopefully in a few seconds, we should see the TV Bro app appear just next to, there you go, next to the XMI app that we installed earlier. So there you go, that guide, that showed you how you can install Google Apps directly from your phone, which has been downloaded from the Google Play Store or downloaded from an independent store or an independent website too. I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that thanks button and consider making a donation to this channel. Or if you're in the market for a new Fire TV stick, Fire TV Cube, Fire Stick accessories or a VPN, or you just want to have a look at my Amazon store, then have a look in the description down below. There's some great links down there for you. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to research and bring you these videos. And also, whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And also, if you see any videos around here that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might be interested in, then please don't forget to share these on your social media timelines. Thanks for watching.